Officer wounded in the shooting that killed his partner Ella French earlier this month is sharing a message of celebration tonight. Officer Carlos Yanez Jr. is out of the hospital now in a rehab facility and marking an important day. WGN's Mike Lowe is live at Chicago Police Headquarters in Bronzeville with more now. Mike. Ray and Micah, good evening to both of you. Officer Carlos Yanez Jr. lost an eye in that shooting, and he also lost feeling in parts of the left side of his body. But there are signs of hope tonight. Officer Yanez moved to rehab this week, and here at headquarters, Superintendent David Brown called that a, quote, major step on the road to recovery. Officer Carlos Yanez Jr. is smiling today, celebrating a milestone in his recovery and his career. Happy anniversary, 25 August, 2014, seven years, we did it. Today marks his seventh year with the Chicago Police Department. There were times in the last two weeks when it wasn't certain he'd make it this far. He was shot twice in the head in the attack that killed his partner, Officer Ella French, on August 7th. As a father, parent, the way you love your kids, no matter how strong they are, how big they are, they're still your kids. He spent weeks in the hospital with his wife and his son CJ at his side. CJ turns three in September. Just last week, he released a bedside video thanking supporters with a weakened voice. Thank you for your support, and your donations, and your prayers. I love you all. But today, it's a celebration. Happy anniversary, 25 August, 2014. Seven years, we did it. He is out of the hospital and at a rehab facility. His family shared that smiling video with WGN News, along with an update that he is growing more talkative every day and that he's working hard with his therapists in rehab. Today, the 39-year-old shaved his face for the first time since the shooting, using an electric razor, his right arm, and the help of physical therapists. There are small signs of hope, some twitches and muscle tension in his left arm and left leg, which will need extensive rehab. His family also says that Carlos is able to sleep better in rehab and that his energy is rebounding and his appetite is coming back. His sister says there will be ups and downs over the next several months, but today is a happy one. Happy anniversary. And there is an ongoing GoFundMe effort to raise money for the Yanez family. There is also an effort by some local Girl Scouts to uh, start a drive for get well soon letters to be sent to Officer Yanez. We've got information on both of those efforts on our website, WGNTV.com. Reporting live tonight at Chicago Police Headquarters on the South Side, Mike Lowe, WGN News.